identity five. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I hope you're all doing absolutely great today. We are getting into some more matches that will prepare us for the Bungo Stray Dogs crossover. We will get right into it. We're gonna have a poll as always as we did before where I let you guys decide which characters I will play. We're gonna play on the survivor side of course. I'm going to play with you guys. I'm going to invite you as always. If you want to play with me, all you have to do is you have to send me a friend request when I look into the request list. All right, all right, all right. Let me see who is already here today. Grayscale is in the chat. Nice to see you. We have Rainbow Pancake, Sparkles, Dem, Soul, Exoloaf. We have Psycho DC. We have Olivia. We have Star King Wizard in the chat. Mikulov is here. Nightbot reminding you guys to leave me a bad like. Really, really appreciate it. Would really mean the world to me. We have Plushy Edits in the chat. Mishiko is here. We have Ricky. We have someone with a Russian name 008 at the end. 008. Nice to see you in the chat. Sadly, I can't read Russian, but absolutely fantastic to see you. We have um, Barsa. We have Wife of a Trucker. We have Boo. We have Reloading Thoughts. We have Ren G. We have Ruby is here. Darzai is in the chat. Darzai. Hopefully, 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 we're gonna get the Darzai skin with the Bungo. Stray Dogs crossover event. Um, Senpai Guts is here. We have Fifi, we have Mattel, we have Yekai, I think Yekai, um, Starsuki, Shao Shao, Estelle. Absolutely fantastic to see you all in today's live stream. And wait, 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 wait. we have Shao Shao coming through with the Silver Level membership. And at the same time, literally at the same time, Graysdale is coming through. Through. May I be in the first group Grayscale? I'm gonna let you play with me in the first few matches. Make sure to send me a friend request because I have cleared out my entire friend request so I don't really have anyone in there anymore. If you send me a friend request, I will accept it. Thank you so much Grayscale. Thank you so much Xiao Xiao. Everybody in the chat, hype it up right here for the support on the channel already. We have Jamtoki in the chat right here. Luca is here as well. Absolutely fantastic to see you. And we also have um, Fun in the chat saying, Christy, how do you feel knowing Atsushi is mercenary and not prisoner? I actually personally think that is a better fit for the character, so I am happy about it. We got some early leaks where it was just said that Atsushi would be the prisoner and I didn't really agree with that, but I was, I was okay with it. And since those were, you know, the leaks that I have seen and what I have heard, I was believing it. But obviously I think that is a fantastic fit because now Darzai um, will be most likely the prisoner. So that's gonna be very, very interesting. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go right into the games. I'm gonna invite you for the matches. We are still in the final push. No way. No way. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back right here. We are <laughs> We are back. Um again, hype it up. I said hype it up for Darsai as well as Xiao Xiao. We already have two new members in today's stream. Darsai, thank you so so much for coming through as gold level member. And we also have Grayscale coming through with the $2 donation. Grayscale, I'm going to invite you right away. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. You should be somewhere in that list, right? You should be... The people, people... Wait, wait, wait. You, you don't have to send me... Wait, 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 wait. I gotta find Grayscale first. That's gonna be the biggest task. Grayscale, are you? Maybe Grayscale didn't even send... Okay, you know what? We're gonna clear the list again. There, I saw... I literally saw you for a second. I saw you for a second. This is very, very... 
I, I saw you. I saw you right there. I think I got you. Did I get you? I think I got Kreisuke. I think I... I clicked, I clicked on it. Yes, we have Grayscale right here. We're gonna clear the list. The first two people that are popping up right here will be invited to the team as well. It's gonna be very quick. I already know. One, two, Diva and Tony right here coming through. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Diva and Tony are in the friend list as well. Coming through with the first match right here. Let's go, let's get right into it. We're gonna start it right away. And I'm gonna create a poll. Let me create a poll for you guys. Which... Character is Chrisley playing? In his next match. We're gonna click on start case restoration. And we're gonna start with the mercenary. We're gonna follow up with the prisoner. And then we have... Doctor and Painter. The novelist we get into the next uh, poll. All right, all right, all right. There we are. There we are. We have our poll ready right here. Let's see, let's see, let's see who wins the first poll, which will be the first character that we will be playing in our matches right here. We have an estimated waiting time of 1 minute 48, which is, which is fine. That is fine. That is okay, right? All right, let me read the chat a little bit. Um, the mute, yes, I know, I know, you're on mute. I'm just scrolling up and I see everybody just telling me that I was on mute. Ooh, the face of disappointment. The thing is, I wasn't actually on mute. Like, I unmuted myself in my software, but then there is this little, I don't know what it's called. It's like the professional microphones go into some kind of converter or something. And that converter usually is, it's always on. I never turn it off, but for some reason it was just off. So the converter wasn't really giving a signal to my PC. So I, I, I thought I unmuted myself and then I, like, you guys in the chat were letting me know that that was just not the case. That was just not the case. Um, yes, the crossover event will start with the second essence of the next season. The next season will start in two days on the 22nd of this month. And then we have the essence one. Essence 1 obviously coming in with the Gardener skin as well as Sculptor and N. I have to actually turn on the music in game. Because if we find the match, I need to hear it. I almost feel like if I have the normal music in the background, like the music I have from my stream at the beginning, I will not see when we find the match and then I am not readying up. And nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to wait for 5 minutes to find the match and then not ready up. Um, yes, so the next season is starting in 2 days. And then we're gonna have the first essence with Gardner and as well as Sculptor as the three A and S tier skins. And then we can expect the next essence, Essence 2 to be there we go. Essence 2 to be the Bungo Stradox crossover essence. And then I think we only have two essences in the next season. So then we already jump into season 24. And I am this is not this is not a confirmed information. This is just what I think. I think we're gonna see a new survivor in season 24 Essence 1. So the essence after the Bungo Stradox crossover, I feel like that is going to be the new survivor. Alright, we're gonna end the poll and the poll is giving away the information that we have to jump in as mercenary. We're gonna play you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna switch it. I'm not gonna play the bear. I'm not gonna play the bear. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, I want to start with the Pharaoh. We can still switch more skins later on. <laughs> but right now, uh, is Composer coming this season too? Uh, as I said, I don't necessarily think that the Composer will be uh, in the next season because we only have two essences. That is what I heard, okay? That is what I heard. I think they had a and a Identity 5 had a and a And there they said that season 23 will only have two essences. So that leaves... The next essence after the Bungo Stradox crossover with season 24. And I think that might be the composer. Yes, the composer. My my 008, my Russian friend. Yes, I think it is the composer. All right, let's get right into our first match. Cypher machine is here. Kind of want to get the first kite. I kind of wish the hunter was right here. Huh? 
No, probably not. Probably not. Hunter's probably already hunting down someone else. Let me tell everybody, Priestess and I, we are decoding cypher machines. We are on it! Nobody can stop us. Except of obviously the hunter. The uh, hunter could actually stop us. So I think either in Season 23 Essence 3, if we will get an Essence 3, or again, if you only have two Essences, then it is Season 24 Essence 1. We will get the new uh, Survivor, the Composer, but obviously before that happens, we are getting a lot of very, very in interesting and really, really beautiful skins. Again, with the Essence 1 Gardener, as well as Sculptor and Anne, and then we have the Bungo Stradox crossover. I'm still curious to see how the skin distribution will work, because we're gonna have five skins with this crossover. Usually we have three or four good skins in an Essence. We don't really see essences where we have five good skins in one essence, right? So I'm curious to see if we are actually getting... Oh, bar made this down. It's a sculptor right there. I'm curious to see if we are actually getting an essence with five skins in it. Or if we will see one skin in the shop. Whoops. I'm running in. I'm running in. This is super far away though. This is super far away. I mean, everybody is super far away. I could potentially... I'm gonna dash in with an elbow pad. I'm gonna try to make it before half. Elbow pad, you ready? It's not gonna be enough. I'm gonna body block. I wanted to say, I, I wanted to say something else. I wanted to say that the hunter changed targets. Okay, you know what? We should decode. We should de nobody. Nobody is decoding. We've been clowns shooting at me. Oh no! Oh no! Oh man! Oh no! Oh no! We still need two more cipher machines to go right here. That's the thing. We still need two more cypher machines to go and with me and the Weeping Clown trying to rescue the barmaid. And the priest is right here. You gotta go into the basement. Oh wait, there is no basement. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on, come on. Heat me up before she's using her weapon. Yes. What is happening? I am so scared. What is happening? I'm I'm going to decode. I'm going I'm going I'm going to touch the cipher machine. What is going on with the hunter? That was very weird. We had 
Not the best time right here, trying to rescue, trying to get the victory going. But it seems like we are getting back to a good time right here. Shiva player is coming through with a $5 donation asking me to play the thief. We gonna, we gonna play the thief. We gonna play the thief. That is for sure. Wait, I have to find the next cypher. It's right over there. Shiva player right here. Everybody in the chat, spam some emotes. Share the love right here. Share the love for the support. Shiva player, we are going to play thief in our next match. Yes, that is for sure. I also forgot to start a new poll for the next character that we're gonna play. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. Just gonna work on the cypher machine with the weeping clown. I have no idea where the priestess went. I have to be honest, I have no idea where the priestess went. Um, are those tentacles on the cypher a mercenary accessory? Yes, this is the only accessory that actually changes the appearance of a cypher machine. It's the third anniversary box accessory for the mercenary. Very, very limited. Not a lot of people have it. I'm very, very happy that I have it. I'm very, very happy that I am one of the few people that were able to get the box. We are decoding the cypher machine right here. Shiva! <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Shiva player is coming through. Good. Then play it two more times. So we're gonna play. Wait, 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 wait. The hunter is back. I have to concentrate. Okay, okay, okay. Shiva is coming through and giving us three matches of thief. All right, all right, all right. Okay. But we gotta pay attention. I could have popped it. I could have popped it. That's fine, that's fine. We're gonna give some likes right here. We had the disconnected hunter. I feel sorry for the hunter right here. Shiva is coming through with the 10 euro donation. And we actually took a victory out of this match. We actually took the victory right here. Shiva is letting me play the thief. I'm actually somewhat excited about this because the thief was getting a buff. And I genuinely... I was playing the thief the other day, right? And I genuinely enjoyed it. It was very, very fun. I feel like I... If I... If I don't try to use the flashlight the entire time... I might actually be... Able to get a flashlight stun and then, you know... Kite the hunter. I'm actually excited! Shiva player, thank you so much for the 15 euros right here. The 15 dollar donation. Really, really appreciate it. I'm actually excited to play the Thief in the next three matches. I know, I know, I know. We are supposed to play Mercenary, Prisoner, Doctor, Painter and Novelist. But we have something that we have to do first. We have a mission that we have to accomplish first right here. Do, 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 do. Wasn't it a nerf? Everybody in the chat is like, no, Isa, no, no. Thief got a buff, and Chandra's got nervous. And Chandra's got nervous. <laughs> and Chandra's got a little bit nervous. Ah, uh, the Thief got a buff. So we are playing as Thief right here. First round, the Thief. Let me see which uh, pet goes with him. Because this is a very, like, I, I do like this skin. We're gonna jump into a match with this skin. What accessory do I have? I have so many accessories. Oh, I want to use the rainbow orb. The rainbow orb is beautiful. I didn't know that I had three accessories for him. And we're gonna go and switch to the, not the costume, ah, uh, the pet, the pet, the pet. What pet could possibly fit with him? I mean, kind of, but not really. Hmm, let me think. It's a really classy, cool looking skin. Which pet could we bring with him? I have Jerry right here. Mm, nah, that's not really fitting. That is not really fitting. That one kind of... It kind of works. I kind of like it. The three-headed doggo, I kind of like it. Wait, we have deduction tasks. Successfully heal teammates two times. That is the last deduction task that I need to do. All right, okay, 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 okay. 
Grayscale says, has anyone seen the new Lucky Guy accessory? Yes, I have been talking about this accessory in the last live stream. That is one of the best accessories I have ever seen. I think this accessory for the Lucky Guy could almost be, if the effects were a little bit more bright, I guess, if the effects were a little bit more colorful, maybe, this could be an SS tier accessory. Because it is changing the effects of, what, 15 items? I don't know how many items the uh, Lucky Guy can use, but it's a 10, between 10 and 15, I would say. So... I think it's one of the best accessories that we have seen in a long, long time. Do do. Are oh, those pets, Grizzly? Yeah, I know, I have a bunch. They did my man Lucky Guy right with his new accessory. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Was the Angels of Death, uh, the Angels of Death collab in the game already? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. We first see the Bungo Stray Dogs crossover, then we're gonna see that. We also have to see the uh, Fatal Frame crossover, right? I think the Fatal Frame, Fatal Frame crossover could potentially be even. I'm not sure. I'm not completely sure. All right, let's get right into this match. Ooh, thief it is. We're gonna go up the boat. Wait, no, 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 we're not gonna go up. Nah, we're gonna go up the boat. I saw someone else going. Wait, what is that? Is that the hunter? There was another survivor going up the boat. We are not going up the boat. We are trying to find our own survivor. Our own cipher. Our own survivor. There we go, beach. Not good, not good. I'm not a good thief. I'm not a good thief. Ah! Yes! Wait, she's leaving me? No, no, she's just checking on the pets, I think. Alright, we're down to three cypher machines. I think we did somewhat of a good kite. We were able to bring down a few... We were able to bring down a few cypher machines while I was kiting. That cypher machine has gone too. Nice, nice, nice. That is a really good setup for us. That wasn't too bad. That was not too bad, I would say. There we go. We have the first officer coming through. Why do we have so many survivors here? Why do we have so many survivors here? Why? What? Um, I'm out of here. They were rescuing me, no! They were rescuing me and they were going down. We need Grayscale for the rescue. I have no idea where Grayscale is. I can't see him. I gotta run. I gotta run.
The dungeon is here. Oh, that was a good dash. That was a good dash. We have all the survivors off the chair again. At least that's something. Okay, and I am not in the dungeon. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, Grayscale is dash again. No, what a snipe. That was awesome. Nice. We have to heal, we have to heal. Wait, she's coming for me? Taking it. No! <laughs> what is this? This match is so much chaos, but we still did so good. How? How? Wh how? If we get a three survivor escape in this match, I'm gonna, I'm gonna celebrate my. My guys, I'm gonna celebrate if we get a three. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Please, please, please. Gate is open. Oh! We did it! We did it! With the thief right here, we were able to stun the hunter a few times. We were able to get away. Woo -hoo -hoo. No way! All right, all right, all right. That is absolutely fantastic. Shiva player, if you're still in the chat, again, thank you so, so much for the donations, letting me play the thief. As I said, I am really excited to play the thief with the new buff. He feels more accessible, he feels more controllable. You have a better chance actually stunning the hunter. I don't understand why we have two bars, right? Like we have the one yellow bar and underneath that there's a white bar that sometimes fills up a little bit faster. What are these two bars when you use your flashlight? Thieves as patch when? I mean, maybe that has to wait a little bit longer, but that was absolutely fantastic. I really enjoyed it. We're gonna switch the skin though. We're gonna switch the skin. There we go. <sighs> Let's go. Pony on the chat says, hey everyone, I hope you all, um, your last day is good. I hope your day is good as well. You see a lot of GG's in the chat right here. Let's go, Thieves as bitch when I have played two matches and they were both bots. That happens. I mean, take it, take it. If they were both bots, you got two victories, I would assume. Um, you guys better like. Yes, if you haven't already, make sure to leave the stream a fat like. I would really appreciate it. We are having a lot of fun right here with the Thief already. Um, you will see Thief in more tournaments soon. That would be that would be funny. Not gonna lie, Thief was one of the best characters when the game was released, right? Because you didn't have all these crazy stunners. The Thief was basically the only character that could really stun the hunter very very early in the game so that was one of the strong points of the thief right here right now there are just so many other characters that are way better than the thief but with this buff right here is definitely a little bit easier to handle too and obviously if you are a pro thief player you now have even better chances of you know stunning the hunter which is even crazier um it's the hunter skill the white one cancels the skill what? That is crazy! Mary Mains will no longer exist with the new Thief update. Um, white is for the cancellation of the skill, yellow is the actual stun. I did not know that you're also cancelling out the skill. 
Love that the color of the of your flashlight goes well with the color of Geisha's butterfly. I didn't even realize that. Talking about that, we are going to change the accessory too now. Because we are having... Um, there you go, the purse. We're gonna take the purse. This is a fitting accessory to the fitting... Fitting skin and accessory. Let's go. Melody says, I miss matching with bots. Yeah, sometimes it's fun. Sometimes it can be fun. Which character is Darzai? Darzai is most likely going to be the um, prisoner, as far as I know. Thief was also a great counter against Geisha, which was an S tier character in the very early seasons. Yeah, right? This was basically what we just saw was a very, very um, early match of the time. Early Titan match, basically. Shiva says, there is no one better than Thief. Thank you so much for another two euro donation. I really appreciate it. There is no one better than Thief. I mean, when it comes to the stunts, there are a few interesting characters that are really, really good. And the Thief, again, I would love to th see the Thief more often. I feel like Thief right now could be utilized more frequently in the future. Nightcrawler says, I made it to the stream. Hi, nice to see you, Nightcrawler. Time to be a prisoner main then. Oh, because of Darzai? Yeah. I'm very, very excited for the new uh, crossover. I'm also very excited for the new essences. I'm happy my stun actually hit. I was scared it wouldn't. That was a crazy snipe from such a long distance. And then you made the hunter hit the chair before you rescued me. And then... Absolutely fantastic combo of everything. It snowballed perfectly into a terror shock when you were vaulting the window. <laughs> that was actually, that was kind of funny, not gonna lie. <laughs> but, I, but we did good. We got the three survivor escape. We have um, F. Shah who says, hey, Chrisley. Um, we have someone from Russia. Sadly, I can't read your name. I like her. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, bot matches are good for easy wins, but I prefer playing with actual people sometimes. Same, same, same. Sometimes, when you try to get, for example, a deduction task over with, I like to play against the bot. If I'm just trying to get a deduction task done, let's go bots, right? It's the same with friendly hunters. Sometimes you get a friendly hunter and you can actually finish your deduction task in these matches. But overall, I think it would be, it's, it's just more fun to actually play against, play against an actual player and get a victory, right? Like it's more challenging and therefore more rewarding when you get the victory. Grayskill says, I'm almost an A-batch clown now. This sounds so like... I remember the days when, when someone told you that you're a clown, it was more of an insult. Like you're, you're a clown. You're, you're a clown, you know that. And now people are like, I am almost an a batch clown. Very proud about it. <laughs> Will you play other game modes? Um, not really sure yet. It is the final push. I want to get more dice and I think quick matches are the best to get more dice. I'm actually surprised Prisoner got dice I as a skin considering um, his, you know, ability in the show. Yeah, I mean, yes. Yes. I, I, I feel like it works. I feel like it works. I want to see you play Nightmare. I actually got a Nightmare accessory. Like a few... Like a week ago maybe. I got an A tier accessory for the Nightmare. Which I was very, very surprised with. Very happy about it too. Um... But I will most likely not play Hunter. This is a, a stream where we will play with the community. As soon as we lose a match, we're going to jump into the request list. And I'm going to add you guys from my request list and we can play together. So I want to invite more people from the stream. So we are most likely not going to play Hunter. Because again, I also want to get dice. I could make a, you know, two versus eight match that is custom. But I need, we, need, we need to get dice. We have to be honest, we need to get dice, right? It's the final push. I want to see how many dice I can get, how many essences I can get before the next season starts. How long did we have to wait? Seven minutes. When it says one minute 35 estimated weighing time. That is crazy. We're gonna go in as Thief. We're gonna go in as Thief. Genshin collab. I know 
I would wait for it. A Genshin collab? That would be very, very interesting to see. I mean, there are so many characters in Genshin too, right? Almost every... Wait. I'm pretty sure every character in Identity 5 could get a Genshin skin. That's how many skins uh, characters there are in, in Genshin, right? Jamanzi says, which character is your favorite? I absolutely love to play the priest, uh, not the priest, the perfumer. The priestess on certain maps, uh, she's really, really good. I enjoy playing her too. But the perfumer, my, my overall favorite character at the moment is the perfumer. My overall all-time favorite character is the forward. So it's perfumer and forward. But I, I try to diversify my portfolio. I'm trying to play different characters to understand different characters. I really, really enjoy playing uh, entomologist, for example, as well. And right now, we are getting into... A thief match because Shiva player was coming through with three donations. Or rather two donations letting me know that I have to play the thief three times. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Where are we? Where, are, where, where, where is the hunter? I'm ready. I'm ready for the hunter. Oh, I am so ready for the hunter. I had the first kite in the match before. We got a three survivor escape. I want to do that again. I, I want... Give me, give me the kite. I want the action. I also want to play it careful. I want to play it safe. Because obviously... If someone else is kiting, we have to decode. Oh, it's an N. Look at that. Look at that cat. It's not coming all the way. It is! Ah! Can I not decode? Oh, man. Who was she? Who was she chasing? It's so, it's so silent. All you can hear is like this very, very silent music of the China, Chinatown map and the decoding sounds. I never realized how peaceful it is on this map. Don't you think so? The, the, I don't know. I never realized how peaceful the Chinatown map is. I'm gonna take over the cipher machine for the cowboy, which is uh, almost at, I would say, 33%. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did the Weeping Clown actually rescue the cowboy? Before he hit the chair? I didn't didn't pay attention. Wait, I, I, can, I can actually watch the uh, replay right here. No, oh, no, I have to pay attention to the game though. No, he was on the chair. Cowboy was on the chair. Oh, man. But still, good rescue, good rescue. We had the Perfumer taking a hit there as well. That's fine, that's fine. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Gonna pop the cypher machine, then we're gonna go hit the weeping clown and I'm sure the hunter... No, actually not. I was sure that the hunter would still go for the cowboy. Cowboy rescued, no way! Oh, cowboy's down, no way. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. So we gotta concentrate on Cypher Machine and we gotta concentrate on the rescue and we have to concentrate on where we go because we are walking against walls right here. Wait, Grayscale rescued the cowboy? Let's decode. Oh, that's gonna be tough. Cowboy is on the chair for the second time, right? Yeah, so we still have time to push the cypher machine right here. Okay, Cowboy needs to stay alive. No, 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 no. I 
I thought the clown healed up. Grayscale, I thought you healed up. No! No! She kind of like glitched closer to me. Come on, Perfuma needs to heal up. Perfuma needs to heal up. You gotta, you, you gotta push through. I'm going to rescue. I'm going to rescue. We, 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 we got this. We got this. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> I'm circling around to the cipher machine. This match, no, 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 no. This match. The perfumer, I think, also didn't heal up. Why is nobody healing up when you're on the floor? <laughs> oh no, oh no. Perfumer is circling around to rescue me. Oh man, nice, nice, nice. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. I'm gonna go down right away. Oh, it was such a good match, but it kind of snowballed for the hunter. I am accepting my defeat right here. Was, I feel like it was a perfect match. I think we played it really, really well. We had that last cypher machine primed, but we just couldn't pull it off. Nice match, nice match. I liked it, I liked it, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed that match. That was very, very interesting. Man. Ah, oh, it could have been a victory. It could have been a victory. Or at least a tie, right? All right, we're going to dismiss the team right here. As always, we are going to clear the list right here. The first three people, one, two, three. We already have it set up right here. We have one, two, three players. My character rating. I still have an A badge. I still have an A badge for the feaster. That is actually scary. Alright, so we played Thief two times. Both of the times. I was enjoying it a lot. The first time we won absolutely fantastic. The second time we lost, but I feel like it should have been a tie. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. We're gonna play one more match as Thief. You know what, we're actually gonna play as Painter. We're gonna play as Painter. And what was the last accessory? The Blaze, we're gonna take the Blaze too. Because I have three different accessories. And now we're gonna come to the poll again. Um, which Bungo Strayhawks character is Chrissy playing in his next match? We started with the Mercenary, so now we have Prisoner. We have, let me add a few options. We have Doctor, we have Painter, and we have Novelist. There we go. I'm gonna ask you guys again. We are playing one more match as 
Thief, aka Painter. The skin is called Painter. And then we're gonna play the character that you guys decide right now in this poll right here. All right, there we go. Found our match a little bit quicker this time. I appreciate that. <laughs> Grizzly, did you ever finish the storyline skins? No, I didn't. I didn't. I mean, it was only... I think I'm only missing one or two, right? Like this one right here for the thief. It already says experienced right there. So I already experienced it. So I already finished that. I can't remember which survivor was having another... Um... Storyline that could unlock a skin, but no, I actually did not. <laughs> Mr. Divide, good night, Christy. I hope you have a fantastic night. Thank you for stopping by today. Praying to the Identify Gods to get the Dazai skin when the crossover goes out. I think we are all praying to the Identify Gods to get at least a few good skins. Like, there are five skins, right? We gotta get at least a few, not just one, a few. My plan is to really play a lot of Identity 5 when the Bungo Stradox crossover is out. Or like in this season. So I can get as many essences as possible. It's a Wu Cheng who has a little bit of an off umbrella right here. Oh, someone is already kiting right there. Oh no! <laughs> no! No, no, no! I f it felt a little bit laggy. I oh man, I was doing so good back and forth, and then I'm just running right into his umbrella. Not good, not good, not good, not good. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, he's he's face bombing at me. I wasn't doing that bad. Excuse me. The first hit wasn't the best. I agree. But come on, no need to be like that. Oh man, entomologist went down. I'm sorry for the entomologist. No! <laughs> I wanted him to destroy the pallet so I could stun him. I was really hoping that he would destroy the pallet. He didn't though. I mean, now he did. Now I don't have any pallets here. Oh no, he's destroying that one, okay. Uh, I have this pallet over there. Stream Red is coming through. Slay for me, Chris Lee. Do this for Weeping Clown. I'm trying, I'm trying, okay. I see your umbrella. That was a little bit early. I'm trying. Thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate it. <laughs> okay, I'm just running. I could have put down a flashlight right here when he comes up. 
That would have been hilarious. Okay, we are down to one cypher machine. We are down to one cypher machine. So this is still a great setup for a tie. We just have to make the best out of it. We just have to push for the tie right here. I'm sure my teammates can make it. A tie is all we need. I didn't even use the roller coaster. I'm kinda sad that I didn't get to use the roller coaster. Okay, they're on this side for machine, but the hunter is close by, I think. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful. And we have the priest is right here trying to get to another side for machine. Oh, you gotta be careful. Nice, nice. He's going straight through the beast. That's interesting. Turn around. Nice. Oh, you get pushed out of the beast? I didn't know that. Oh, man. Look at that hit range. Behind the pallet. Behind the pallet. Stream Red Sun says, Weeping a Clown round two. All right, okay, okay, we're gonna play Weeping Clown. I'm sorry, I, I <laughs> do this for Weeping Clown. I, I didn't know that you wanted me to play Weeping Clown. We're gonna play Weeping Clown. We're gonna play Weeping Clown. And that is for sure. Next match, Weeping Clown. I'm trying to play the Bungle Stradox crossover event uh, characters. But with the donations right here, after this match, which is my third match of Thief, I'm gonna play the Weeping Clown. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We still have everyone up and running. One Cypher Machine is remaining. I'm not really sure. Is that Cypher Machine primed? Think it is? No, it isn't. Oh, no, it isn't. Everybody in the chat, hype it up for a stream. Red right here, coming through with the donations. Really, really appreciate it. I'm gonna play a round of Weeping Clown. Usually to pick my character, you would have to donate $5, but since you were coming through with two donations, I will take it. We had the Cypher Pop coming in. Wait, 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 what is happening? Where is the Hunter? Oh, 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 goodbye! Goodbye, good day! The stop was also pressed, he teleported right there, but the stop button, button was... Is this going to be a victory? Are you telling me this is going to be a roller coaster victory? Oh, wait, no, they are not at the gate. I thought they were. I mean, they are now. It's gotta be a roller coaster victory. He's coming. Are they all getting into the roller coaster? Oh, no, the little girl. Oh, no, the little girl. Oh, no. Oh, couldn't get in there was no chance for the little girl to get into that roller coaster and they were just taking off right here making my way downtown across the entire map going to the exit gate they could still rescue if Wu Cheng comes back they can still go into that roller coaster again and potentially rescue no he's staying here he takes the tie he knows that he almost lost this match. So he just secures the tie right here. He wants to stick around. I'm sure they could come in with a crazy rescue. They wait out detention. He's teleporting. Oh, they left. They left. All right. Ooh. Little girl was left behind. F's in the chat for the little girl. But we got the tie. Again, we set up for a fantastic tie. I was going down a little bit too quick. I wasn't really able to kite that well. Definitely need to improve my kiting skills. But we are going to play the Weeping Clown. Thank you so much again to Stream Red right here in the chat for coming through with the donations. We're gonna play Weeping Clown right here. I have an A-tier skin for him. Where is he? There we go. Look at him. Look at him go. I mean, I'm not using the rocket yet, but when I use the rocket, look at him go. Look at him go. <laughs> Jem Toki says, I feel sorry for love. I mean, that was a pretty tough situation. Everybody was ready to get out of there with the roller coaster, and the little girl just, just couldn't. 
Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Weeping clown, you silly goof. Wait, let me see which... I, I think I only have two skins, right? The AT and the normal one, yeah. I was hoping I would have a different skin too, but we're gonna play eight tier. We're gonna play the eight tier skin. Weeping out the competition. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Chris, I will be judging. Grayscale, who almost has. I think you said almost, right? Almost has the eight tier badge for the weeping clown. <sighs> Don't judge me too hard. It's gonna be weeping clown. Is gonna be an. An interesting journey for me. Robbie says, me waiting to use my A unlock on the last Luca season essence skin. Oh, you saved up some unlock cards? I have some too. I think I have two. How many do I have? Can I actually check that? If I go on a character and uh, click on a skin, let's go to who has a lot of skins? Mercenary. Mercenary always has a lot of skins. But I also own a lot of skins. Oh, man. Okay, trial. If I click on trial... <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. I'm not necessarily going for the A tier skin of the prisoner. Because I have the electrolysis skin for the prisoner and that skin is just... In my eyes, it's absolutely beautiful. I really do love it. Um, I also have other skins. I have uh, Prisoner L, I have Ray. So I have already three A tier skins. And honestly, I have three of these uh, unlock cards. Hand over an unlock card now! <laughs> how, how? Um, sometimes you're able to get a free unlock card. Sometimes when there are bigger events, they hand these out if you, you know, finish a few missions, a few tasks. And I usually finish the task, get the unlock card, but I'm not using the unlock cards. I'm not using them. Because I have good skins for almost all the characters I'm playing with. And as soon as there is one skin, one skin that I really want, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. There was one skin. Oh, wait, let me show you guys. Oh, I can't. I'm playing on the survivor side. There was one limited... Soul Weaver skin, a B tier skin. That was a B tier skin. A limited Soul Weaver skin. I can't remember what skin that exactly was. That you could get with an unlock card. And that was a bug. Usually you cannot get a limited card with an unlock card. That's usually impossible. But there was a bug, and everyone who actually used their unlock card, B tier unlock card, for the um, Soul Weaver skin was able to keep that limited skin that you could usually only, I think, get with Echoes. So maybe, 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 I'm holding on to my A-tier um, skins, A-tier skin unlock cards, because maybe they're gonna make another mistake. Maybe they at one point bring a limited A-tier skin to the shop, and you can accidentally unlock it with an unlock card. That would be crazy. That's what I'm saving up my cards for. And again, potentially there will be a... Uh, a character skin that I would absolutely love to get and then I am I'm ready. I have three unlock cards. I accidentally destroyed my first unlock. I le You dismantled it? You got some fragments out of it? I, 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 I mean, it's... It's fragments, you know? Like, it's fragments. It's... Uh, you didn't completely destroy it, right? You got some fragments, so that's great. That sounds painful, not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, okay, okay, okay. We are a weeping clown. We're gonna get the scale right here first. First things first, scale. And we're gonna, no, we're gonna take this side. He's gonna take the cipher, All right, okay. Decoding. Decoding is what we do right here. You only get a thousand. Are you actually getting a thousand fragments from dismantling an AT unlock card? I mean, obviously that's not enough, right? Like, obviously that... How are we facing another end? They are all practicing for the new end skin. 
Honestly, a thousand is not enough, but for some reason I thought it was less. Oh no, Enchantress. Couldn't really do anything against Anne over there. I'm gonna run. No wait, Professor says take... Okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna finish this Cypher Machine and then we're gonna go to the next Cypher Machine over there that the Professor should already have at like 40%. Alright, Enchantress is off the chair. Professor is keep keeping on the coding right here. Oh, Enchantress used to three stacks of stun. Okay. Blink. And, 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 and. And, 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 and. Couldn't you give us a chance right here? She is very aggressive. She is very aggressive. A few days ago it was Percy and now it's Anne. What is going on here? I feel like Anne was also, a few days ago Anne was also very, very present. I think I already, or was it Sculpt? No, it was Anne. I feel like we're gonna see a lot of more Anne's and a lot of more Sculptors because of the crossover essence. Not the crossover, the, the normal essence that is coming. Oh no, the dash is not long enough. I was hoping I could dash in. I was hoping I could rescue. I, I, I had no idea how long the dash would go. I mean, I was too late anyway. Did I hear a cat right behind me? Excuse me? Wait, wait a minute. Kinda like it. I kinda like it. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. No, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Let's go! I see her red light. I'm not sure where she's going, though. Okay, she's coming. We have to change targets. We picked Cloud for the victory. Let's go. <laughs> These rockets were rescuing me left and right. I like it. I like it. I like it. I do. I do like it. That was not too bad. Can I actually get uh, the scale right here? I ha ah, okay, okay, I can. I can. I can. Okay, I'm decoding this one. Do we have a Cypher Machine primed or what's happening? <laughs> Professor is being chased, alright. We got this, we got this, everything's fine. She 
just gonna prime this. I, I gotta prime this. All right, okay, okay. I didn't I didn't know if we had a cipher machine already primed or not. As I would have opened the um, item box or something. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do it now. She's gonna pick up the professor. That's gonna give us enough time. Did I reach us? Weeping clown, ladies and gentlemen, we are running away from the hunters. We are running away from the pain. I, I liked it. I liked it. That wasn't too bad. That was not too bad. All right, first of all, I want to give a huge thank you again to Stream Red right here who was coming through with donations. Letting me play the Weeping Clown. I was having a lot of fun. I was really enjoying that. Thank you so, so much. I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope you enjoyed this match right here just as well. And then we also have Grayscale who is, uh, let me see in the chat. Yes! Grayscale, I hope you enjoyed that show as well. I'm not a good... I feel like I was lucky. The two times I used my rockets to get away, I was so confused that she didn't hit me down. I was way too close to her to get away from this. But we got away from it. We got away from it. It worked. That was very, very, that was very, very enjoyable. I liked it. We see the GGs in the chat right here. Let's go. Stream Red Sun says, Slay, let's go again. Thank you so much. I loved every second of it. Oh, I appreciate it. We're gonna switch to the character that is being picked in the poll right now, which seems to be the doctor. We're gonna pick the doctor. The brown skin right here. Why, why do I have this skin equipped? And she is so sad too. I remember it. I remember my sad doctor. We're gonna take this skin right here. There we go. And we're gonna start our next poll right now for the next match which will be mercenary again that we already played prisoner um novelist and painter painter running away from the pain is what we do with the novelist but we could also play the painter <sighs> i'm always nervous about matching with Anne. yeah honestly i feel like um Anne can be very scary what i was able to do is I was able to avoid her stunning me with the cats. Did you see that um, when I was outside the arms factory with the two pallets? And then I looped around the uh, arms factory. I was always able to just get as far away as possible. And that was allowing me to stay away from Anne and, you know, avoiding her stunning me. That was the most important thing. And I think that's the most important thing you can do. Either avoid the cats, or even if you get the cats, try to avoid getting the stun. You did good. Usually I tend to keep my rockets for a kite. So when doing so, I try um, go move through pallets and open doors to confuse the hunter. So I basically did what you do. I basically did what you do. I, I, I kept my rockets for when I kite. I had two rockets to kite with. And they were both, they were helping me. One rocket, when I used it, I heard the hunter swinging at me and hitting like an obstacle behind me. I heard that. The, I think the first dash that I did, where I was getting away from the hunter, I heard the hunter not hitting me. And that was just, that was very, very beautiful. I really enjoyed that. I wasn't even sure if the hunter is possibly faster than me. Like maybe I am a little bit faster with the rocket, but the hunter is still faster than me. But I learned I am faster with the rocket than the hunter is. And mains are scary. I agree, I agree. Nightbot is in the chat reminding you guys to leave a fat like. I have to say we have a really good stream going on. So if you have not already, I would really appreciate a fat like. We have 138 likes. Maybe we can push it to 150. We are having 
matches with mercenary thief three times the thief we had the weeping clown now we are bringing out the doctor right here and it seems like the next match if we look at the poll is very very close to being a prisoner match but for now we're gonna stay with the doctor miku says now i will judge i am a doctor main <laughs> I see you, I see you. Everybody in the chat is just very excited when I play their mains. But I also have to remind you, if I do good with your main, that is all skill, right? That is me being an absolute professional identity 5 player that has been playing this game for over 4 years now, alright? If I'm doing bad, it's because I don't play the character that often, right? It's not that bad. If I'm not doing good, that's not on me. That's because I don't know the character. I don't know anything about the character. Again, if I'm doing good, obviously it's my year-long experience that I was accumulating in Identity 5. That, that, is, I, I, that is skill. That is just pure skill. Alright, there we go. We found our match. After almost five minutes, it is time for our doctor match. The Red Church. You kited more in the open, but still did good. Also a good counter to Clown is Geisha, so... If you decide to play him again, watch out for her. <laughs> got it, got it, got it. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense with the butterflies. Definitely makes sense. I was kiting in the open, now that you say it. But I feel like when I was kiting in the open, I was making use of the rockets. And that was helping me transition to a better area. So I feel like I... I, I, I enjoyed that match. If you're bad at the game, it's Nettie's fault. Exactly. It's always the ping. It's always the ping. Alright, let's go. Doctor time. It is doctor time. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we? Where are we? Cypher machine's right here. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go right here. Right here on the cypher machine. I'm actually ready. I'm excited. I hope the hunter is coming for me because we are close to the graveyard and I would love to transition Kite over to the graveyard, then potentially into the church, moving on into the, you know, broken area, broken section on this map. But apparently all I have to do is I have to decode because someone else is kiting. I should establish a rule. I should be like... I decode one cypher machine. If I am not the first kite, I decode one cypher machine and then I'm just jumping into the action. Then I'm just going towards the hunter. No matter how many cypher machines are left, I'm just running into the hunter's arms. Just trying to get the attention. Let's see if the barmaid can heal up. It was a geisha right there and... Ooh, just healed up right there. Very, very nice. Prospector actually helping the barmaid to heal up. But also taking a hit right now. So we gotta be a little bit more careful about the Prospector because now the Hunter might actually go for the Prospector, right? Did you hear that excitement? Not bad, not bad, not bad. That cowboy is right there. Let's see what is happening with the Prospector on the chair. Okay, everybody is just going closer to the rocket chair right now. I'm gonna go and go to the Cypher machine now. I know I had the rule that I should go in for the action, but kind of everyone is over there, right? I'm gonna go in for the next rescue, but everyone is over there. Why would I go over there if we have a, a cowboy there too? Barmaid is healing up again. If Barmaid can heal up again, that's just absolutely fantastic. Oh, our prospector is down. I like to see the barmaid healing up right there and getting more chances of, you know, healing and kiting and decoding and everything. I know what is going on. I see what is going on. The geisha is having a different carry around emote, so the cowboy is having a little bit of a harder time. Nice, nice, nice. Where's the prospector? I want to help the Prospector! I know I should finish the Cypher Machine, but I just want to go in for the action. Or potentially heal the Barmaid, I don't know. I just want to do something that is action. Don't want to decode all day! Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? 
Where's the prospector? Where? where? Cowboy doesn't know either. Nobody knows. I can hear you. Oh, it's over there. Okay, let's see if the cowboy can do something. I'm gonna go back to my cypher machine. Oh! That could actually mean that I can help! <laughs> Did she not even see me at all? dashed away she left us I was excited as soon as my cypher machine was done my plan was like I'm gonna go and help the cowboy and then we are the two survivors that are you know kiting around and and saving the day but now barmaid kind of has to do all the the hard work <laughs> Okay, we are decoding that last cypher machine. That should be enough, right? Barmaid was doing such a fantastic job so early in the game. I feel like even if the hunter is trying to get to the barmaid and even if the hunter hits the barmaid, we will have enough time. Hopefully we will have enough time to prime the cypher. Oops. Maybe I shouldn't give away our location. Come on, barmaid, you got this. I believe in you. All you have to do is you have to... For like, not even half a cypher machine, because we are working on the cypher machine together. So the decoding progress is fast. Almost done, almost done. No. I'm not focusing on decoding when you're down. I think the, <laughs> I think the cowboy didn't see that the barmaid went down right there. Just gotta pay attention. Just gotta pay attention. Someone needs to take a hit right here. I I am just paying attention. No, no! Barmaid just said focus on decoding. Barmaid just said focus on decoding. And I did I I was just doing what the barmaid said, okay? I was just this was not an accident. It was a happy accident. <laughs> oh man, I, I was just doing what the barmaid said. I am coming for the rescue, I don't care. No, I'm not the- Oh, she left! We are out of here! Let's go! Oh, no way! Survivor 
escape right here? I mean, yes! I was... I was... What? Obviously, obviously I was going in for a rescue of the barmaid. Because I was hoping that we would get a three survivor escape. But we actually got a three survivor escape right here? Detention rescue too? Yeah, detention rescue! Miku says, oh my god, wanna save Miku as Dr. Main? Am I hearing your opinions on this match? That was not too bad. That was actually super fun. I enjoyed it. We're gonna jump into our next match as Prisoner. Prisoner is being picked in the poll, so we are taking out the Prisoner for the upcoming match. The Electrolyzer skin. Absolutely love that skin. Gonna set up our next uh, poll right here. Now it is going to be Painter. Um, doctor again. No, Doctor we just played. Oh no, Doctor is fine. Doctor, uh, Mercenary and Novelist. Can we get a fat like on the stream? We are almost at 150. Come on. If this match does not deserve a like on the stream right here, I don't know what does. Let's push it to 150 before we start this match. We're gonna jump in as prisoner. Ooh. That was... What is happening today? I feel like we're having a really, really good day today. We are playing as Thief, we are playing as Weeping Clown, we are playing as Doctor, now we are going in as Prisoner, we started off as Mercenary. Let's go. Lolly says, you never got Luca's new skin, Christy? No, I actually only got the Priestess skin, the Frozen Butterfly. And I really, really like that skin. I like the Prisoner's new skin too, but this skin right here electrolyzes. I love it. It's one of my favorite skins in the game. Not in the... I, I, I would say still in the top 10. Because it reminds me of that, um, that space. One of my favorite horror games. So definitely a, a beautiful skin. So I don't necessarily need another skin for the prisoner. Alright, let's go. We are right here, we are right here, we are right here. Wait, do we have the Geisha in the chat? Lucia? I think Lucia is in the chat right here as Geisha. I was freaking out when I saw I got matched with him. Hey, you did really good, you did really good. I was really scared. I didn't think that we would pull off a victory, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, we gotta push that Cypher machine in the middle. I know that someone was getting pushed away from that Cypher, but if we can finish the Cypher machine in the middle, that is giving us better chances to locate around the map, right? To, when, when, when we only have one, uh, one Cypher machine remaining, it is better for us to not have the one in the middle. So we're gonna try and push the one in the middle, even if we don't have anyone helping us. I feel like that's the smart thing to do. I'm not a prisoner main, I'm just trying, I'm just trying, I'm just trying to play the game. Kim hit the hunter with a pallet, let's go! The bloody queen takes the pallet! We already have a cypher machine done. Oh yeah, of course, because I'm... <laughs> I was just about to say, how am I a prisoner decoder main? And someone else already finished the cypher machine, but I'm at halfway. Well, obviously... I was uh, pushing into the other cypher machine as well. Gotta be careful right here. I'm not really sure if that cypher machine or that mirror image is directed toward, up towards our cypher machine. It almost feels like... It feels suspicious, suspiciously like it. Okay. Don't think she saw me. I'm sure she would have went for me if she saw me. As the code main? I would think so. Huh? 
How did you get over there that quick? Did I do it? <laughs> Wait, where is she? She left me. Wait, only one cypher machine is remaining? Why did I connect these two cyphers? I didn't know only one cypher machine was remaining. You know, we're just gonna pop it. Why not? It was a little bit of a late pop, but I... Also, couldn't really do anything too much. <laughs> no, no. All right, let's leave. Let's leave. Let's leave. Maybe Perfume has a dungeon or something. Or maybe Perfume goes down. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We got a perfect three survivor escape with nobody ending up on the rocket chair. Cypher rush, oh my god. That was... I, I, I did... Pff, even I did not expect that cypher rush. Like, I was on this one cypher and the other two cyphers were also halfway done already. Did not expect that to happen. That was a quick match. How long did that take? It was like four minutes. Did you try to stun the mirror? <laughs> Shao, Shao, don't say that. That makes me sound like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I was just scared. I saw the mirror. I saw that she was swinging with the mirror. I, 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 I panic tapped the. I know that I can't. <laughs> I know I can't stun the mirror, okay? I I promise you, I know that. <laughs> I was just panicking. I was just panicking. That's why it's called quick match. I mean, at least for this match, it definitely was a quick match. All right, there we go. We are finding matches fast as well now. So I do like that. Lakeside Village. We are going to pay as Painter. Painter clearly won this poll right here. Where are we? Where where are we as a painter? Where where where? There he is. There he is. All right, let me put in the next poll for the next match. Uh, painter is out of the picture, so we get it. Painter is out of the picture, so we are going to play mercenary or novelist or doctor or prison again. Prisoner. There we go. Asking the community right here which character I should play in the next match. Lakeside Village. Lakeside Village as painter. Christy, what is your favorite S tier skin that you have? I would actually have to look at my S tier skins, but just at the back of my head, I know that I have Tomir, which I never play. I don't play Dreamwitch. But I have Tomia, and Tomia is just an absolutely fantastic S tier skin. I do really, really like that skin. Do we have a... Um, who is it? What was that light? I was just about to say, do we have an X-Boy because there's like lights flying, ar flying around. But what was that light? It is an X-Boy. Maybe that wasn't the smartest idea, okay? Maybe that wasn't the sm Listen. 
I don't know how to play painter. I have no idea. I have no I have he was he was no idea how to play the painter. So again to answer this question real quick, um Tomia is definitely one of the most beautiful skins in the game. And I'm very, very happy that I have it. Oh, Prisoner took a flame right there. That is tough. That is for sure tough. I think Priestess is coming in now. But overall, I would have to look into my I would have to look into my S tier skins because I also have Monokuma, which is just an absolutely fantastic skin. Like Monokuma, such a great skin for the God 26. No! Nice! No way that happened! No way that happened! Leah is coming through with a $20 donation! Can I see some wild link? Yes, you can! Just give me a moment! He blinked on me! Come on! No way! Alright, 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 all right. I can struggle free, I can struggle free, right? Wait, this is not my end. This is not my end. I mean, it's close. I mean, Priestess is right. No way, no way, no way. I'm not taking that portal though. Maybe I am? I'm up. I'm up. I... If the hunter brings me down through the portal, I'm gonna scream. Oh god, thank god. Nobody is rescuing the priestess. I am sorry. Everybody in the chat, hype it up for Leah. Wants to see some wildling right here. We gotta do that in just a moment. Oh, come on. I was running right into that. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. No! No! Oh! Wait! Man, that was a fireball that I was very scared of. I am walking so slow! <laughs> I didn't know that I would walk so slow. <laughs> After I avoided this fireball so well, I was walking like the slowest survivor that there is. Oh no. Oh no. That pains me. We gotta spectate, we gotta spectate. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We still need three cypher machines. That's tough. Again, a huge thank you to Leah who was coming through for a $20 donation. I really, really do appreciate that. And of course, of course, of course, of course, you can see some Wildling. Wildling is gonna be fun too. Whenever someone was coming through a donation letting me play Wildling, I was enjoying it. So I'm actually excited about that. Oh, that window? That is blocked. What is... Where's... Oh. Oh! Oh, that window? Oh, that window is still blocked! Oh no! Look at the basement! <laughs> Kim was looking right down the basement! No way! <sighs> alright, 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 there we go. That's one basement chair. I don't even know where the dungeon was. Did we see the dungeon in this match? We pro I was probably on the dungeon at one point. I no, it's right here, okay. I was just about to say, I'm probably just blind. I don't know where the dungeon was. 
Oh man, that is heartbreaking. This one cypher machine is also primed. So we're basically down to one cypher, but again, doesn't really change the situation that we are facing right here. Prisoner is trying to get at least to touch the cypher machine. I don't think that he will rescue. I think he's gonna touch it and go back to the basement. He actually is going in. He actually is going in. No one is left behind. I like it. I like the mentality right here. Nobody is left behind. Again, we still have two cypher machines up that we need, but one of them is almost done. And the exploit, I feel like just left completely. Oh, that's tough. Now the exploit knows exactly where they are. Right? I would think so. Where is the ex boy? They are also not healing up. He's connecting cypher machines. I think to distract. Wait, what's... Oh, I see the ex boy over there. You should have healed behind the fence. To hide. But I think he can't. Like, he's at the beach, right? Is he at the beach? I saw him somewhere there in the distance. Man, this is an intense late game. I like it, I like it, I like it. This is an intense late game because the x boy was actually allowing the prisoner to go in for a rescue. And we could potentially now see that last cypher machine being decoded. Dungeon is right here. Both of the survivors now know it. But where are the cypher machines? Oh, they have to cross the entire map to get to the Cypher Machines. That is tough. That is definitely tough. I think all Cypher Machines are lined up at the beach and the boat. Yeah, this one, man. I was touching it early in the game, but that was... Yeah, see, like, the exploit can really rotate into these Cypher Machines now. Oh, they split up, though. Nice! It's trying to push both cypher machines. Ooh, x boy is coming. As soon as the little girl goes down, she can take two hits before she goes down, but as soon as the little girl goes down, the prisoner will go to the basement. The dungeon. Because Little Girl will be out of the game. Oh, man. Literally the same thing happened to me. Wasn't it the same thing that happened to me? At one point, at least. We had the blink coming through behind the pallet. I feel like this is such a... Like, did they, what, I, it's such a deja vu. Didn't that happen to me? I think so. Okay, prisoner is running. As I said, he's just trying to get to the dungeon now. All right, all right, all right. He's getting the speed boost to get a little bit closer, a little bit quicker. And that is the one survivor escape. I mean, they did, they did really, really good because, you know, the prisoner could have left earlier and just uh, leave the little girl on the chair in the basement. I'm sorry, I didn't give the prisoner I like. I, I, I tapped it two or three times, but I just... Sometimes I'm missing it. Very, very nice match. I really enjoyed it. But we are getting into a new team because we lost the match. As always, we have one, two, and three spots right here. One, four, eight, four, two, four is my ID if you want to play with me. Wait, we got two players. There we go. There we go. We have one player that is on PC. We're gonna jump right into it. The next match will be a Wildling match. And after that, it seems to be Novelist. I don't know, I'm excited about Novelist. I am excited about Novelist. Jenny Studio says, those matches were fun. I'm really enjoying today's matches, all of them. I'm really enjoying all of the matches, they are great. We're having a lot of fun right here. 
They are definitely fun, but also chaotic at the same time. Okay, wildling, wildling, wildling. Leah, this is the wildling. For you, we gotta get, we gotta get into a match. I don't want to say we're gonna get a victory. Oh yes, you're gonna play him. He looks, I saw a video that I thought was really funny. He kind of looks in this outfit like the composer. Literally, he could be the composer. I saw a video where this wildling was decoding a cypher machine and they put um, like a guitar hero overlay as if he was not decoding the cypher machine but playing guitar hero because obviously he's a composer so he needs to compose. It looked really good, it looked really funny. And obviously again that skin, it, it looks like the compo- it literally looks like the composer. How do we get to play with Chris? Um, Alpha, if you want to play with me all you have to do is you have to get into my friend request list whenever I search for teammates. I search for teammates as soon as I lose a match with a team. I play two matches with each team that I'm getting into. And as soon as I lost the second match or the third match or the fourth match, again, if we are winning, we keep the team. But if we are losing, we are getting into a new team. So when you see me lose with my teammates, you have to send me friend requests. You have to spam my friend requests. And if you are one of the first few people that pops up, I usually um, clear the list and then the first few people that pop up right there will get the chance to get into my match for at least two matches. So you just have to send me a friend request when I'm looking for people. But yes, that skin right here definitely reminds me of the composer. I'm very, very excited about that. Don't really have a, a good accessory. That one kind of matches, I guess. What are we, pi what are we picking as pet? Chrissy, what the, is the skin that you want from the crossover? Sparkus, that is a good question. Um, let me think, let me think, let me think. Obviously, as always, you want to get the S tier skin. That is a skin that, like, everybody wants to get the S tier skin, right? Even if you don't necessarily want the S tier skin too much and you want to have an A tier skin more, if you get the S tier skin, you're happy. That's just... Those are the rules. If you're getting an S tier skin, you're happy, okay? <laughs> uh, so obviously the S tier skin would, could, would be cool. But honestly, I think all of the skins will be extremely cool. Dazai for the mercenary sounds really, really good. Sounds really good to me. But then also Doctor um, with the Akiko, Akiko skin. That would be cool too. I think that's a great looking skin as well. And then we also have um, Doppo as well as Ranpo for novelist and artist. All of the skins are great. All of the skins are great. I think, honestly, the painter skin, Ranpo as painter just fits perfectly, right? Like it just fits perfectly. The skin and the character in game does just look one to one. It's, it's like... Rampo was made for the painter. So that is a really, really cool skin that I would absolutely be very happy to get. I'm trying to think of which pet I should pick. We have a, be uh, a boar, a boar, a boar. Mm, uh, mm, maybe the smiley face? Because this is a Chester, right? The Chester is there to make people laugh, to entertain people. And you can see it right here, he's doing it in his animations. And smiley face, is a, smiley face is a clown. He's also there to make people laugh, to entertain people. And they kind of have like the same color scheme, so I'm gonna take him. Christy, check Twitter when you can. Did she create some fan art again? I would absolutely love it. I would love to see it. Did you take me? I don't see it yet. Grace gave your... Wait, wait, there was something. Oh, it's a clip. I see, I see, I see. 
This is kind of what I meant earlier with what I was saying uh, through pellets and open doors. Ah, I see, I see. When you're playing, um, when you're playing as Weeping Clown, you can't really dash into a wall, and your rocket will explode, right? Because you will bounce off the wall, kind of. So it's easy to actually get through pellets. Am I right? Thank you so much for sharing that clip with me. I see, I see, I see what you mean. Mitzi says, I was the prisoner from the last team, GG's. We did actually fantastic, really, really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for playing with me. We are going to play on the Ever Sleeping Town though as Wildling. I need to see where I can jump through walls. Can I jump through walls on the um, graveyard area? Because with the Wildling, you can actually jump over walls that nobody else can really jump over. Except of um, maybe Acrobat, maybe... Um, the Antiquarian. Those survivors also can jump over obstacles that usually other survivors can't just jump over. No, that was the wrong button. I... Well, we just gotta wait for 30 seconds until we can get the boar again. It does explode when you run into a wall, so you kinda need to be careful. Oh, it does explode, okay. I just had to check out which button does what. Look at my little companions right here. That looks so funny. The little boar right there. The little boar is wearing glasses. Wait a moment. I did not just use it again. I did not just use my boar again. I could have went all the way over there to potentially stun the hunter, but I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna try it, but... I should have went there. Toy Mansion is going in for the rescue. I'm gonna go and harass as soon as the... Let's go. On mine side, stay alive, stay alive. Wait, what? Was my timing already over? Was was Oh yeah, my time was already over. I ran out of time. I didn't know that. No, no, Mindsai, I'm sorry. Mm, that hurts me. I need to learn how to play Whiteling. Whiteling is a fun character, but I didn't see that my time was running out. Oh man. Did not do that to me. <sighs> gotta focus. We gotta. We gotta elaborate the situation. Evaluate what is going on. Nice.
My bow was almost up. And he uses teleport, man. That is brutal. Oh, look at them! Look at them go! Look at them fly! That was actually funny. That is tough. I did not just do that! No! Did he go for the one so by that was on the cypher machine? Oh, come on! I can't focus on the coding, we gotta rescue. Oh no. <coughs> don't go, Tram, don't go, Tram. Thank you. A little bit scared. Now nah, he's gonna come back. He's gonna come back. He's gonna teleport all the way over here. Not leaving anyone behind. Told you. I told you. Wait for me, Tran! Oh, wait a moment. Okay, alright! <laughs> well, well, well! Um, here we are! Definitely an interesting match. Definitely an interesting match. Sadly, we didn't win, we didn't even tie, but it was a lot of fun! This was... Hilarious. I couldn't really do anything with the wildling. Couldn't really rescue anyone. I couldn't really push anyone away. But I feel like I was overall doing not too bad. It was a fun match. I, I was really enjoying it. Alright, alright, alright. We were playing a lot of different characters today already. We were starting out with our mercenary because of the polis. Then we went into thief matches because of Shiva players. We had um, Stream Red coming through, letting me play the Weeping Clown. Really, really enjoyed that. We also had uh, matches as the Doctor that were extremely <coughs> match as the Doctor that was extremely good. Prisoner, Leah wanted me to play as Wildling. So today has been a variety of characters, and we are we 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 will keep keep going with that because right now we can see that the novelist. Is the survivor that is being picked in the poll. I'm gonna end the poll right here and I'm gonna start the next one for the next match and we're gonna put obviously we're gonna put all the survivors back. Mercenary will get a spot, we have Painter will get a spot, we have Doctor and we have Prisoner. Yes and for now we are going to jump into a match as Novelist right here. Where are you? There you are. 
Novelist, I do also have an A-tier skin. Very happy about that. <sighs> Those matches today, even... Even when we lose the matches, they are so fun, they are so good, they are action-packed. There is a lot of panic and chaos going on and I absolutely love it. <laughs> Jenny says, I have to go now. It was fun playing with you, Chrisley. Thank you for playing with me, I appreciate that. Thank you for stopping by on today's stream. Hope you have a great rest of your day. I have been waiting for this, yes, novelist. It's gonna be interesting. I feel like... Okay. Usually... When you guys pick characters for me, there's like a 50-50 chance that I play good. But like a 50% chance that I play good, another 50 chance that I don't play as good as I want to, right? With the novelist, I almost feel like I'm struggling a little bit. I feel like with the novelist, I haven't really played too well. Never ever. Lynette says, good luck, Chrissy. Thank you. I will need it. Man, 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 I, I definitely need some luck. I definitely need to understand how to play the novelist a little bit more. Just feel like I'm not lucky with that. <laughs> Angel Angel in the chat says... No, wait, it's, it's Angle Angle, right? Angle Angle? Hi! Nice to see you. Uh, Ragu says, I am so bad at novelist. Good luck. Thank you so much. Well, as I said, I am not really good as novelist either. But sometimes it's good to challenge yourself. Sometimes it's good to just jump into a match, have some fun. And sometimes you do good. Sometimes you do good. I was playing Weeping Clone earlier. I was not expecting to really play that good. But we were having fun. We were having a blast right there. All of the people you bring on have done well as well. People are talented. I have to say so too. My team, the people that I'm playing with here on stream, it's always fantastic. I always enjoy it. I used to make novelist the leg with his book made me cry all the time. What's the novelist skill? The novelist skill, basically you look into the hunter's eyes like you do with the... Um, Seer when you want to recharge your owl or like you do with the um, Yeah, basically like the seer you look at the hunter and Once your skill is charged you're basically riding the hunter into your book or something You can switch the position with the hunter You can also switch position with a survivor which means position as in you play the doctor You could you could switch with a player for one minute and you could play for example the doctor or you could play whatever character you pick. But you can also switch um, positions with the hunter for for a few seconds. It's not necessarily, like, it's not as long as with the... Why are we running? Okay, stop. Lagging a little bit. It's not necessarily as long as it is with the survivors, which is one minute. Um, but you can change the... Basically, you play as hunter for eight seconds. Oh no, we have the Nightmare. Novelist meets Nightmare. That's something, that's something. Priestess is the one who is having the crow, which is not too bad. Priestess could potentially, uh, you know, utilize the portals in a good way to get away from him. Nightmare can be really... Nice to kite against, but sometimes can just be a nightmare too. He's called Nightmare after all. Doctor is coming in, okay. Was just about to ask, are we popping off the cypher or not? Doctor is taking a hit right here. Is coming in with the rescue. You gotta run. You guys gotta run. Doctor is healing. Nice, nice, nice. Priestess is still up and running. I like it. I like it. I like it. I usually... Oh, that scared me. That sound of the nightmare. I usually struggle a little bit with the nightmare. It really depends on which area you are in. Because sometimes you can... 
really avoid his jumps with some obstacles. But sometimes you just can't. <laughs> and we can also see it in the chat right here. We have uh, Ganshi saying Nightmare is literally a nightmare. And then we have um, Shiksan saying Nightmare is the easiest hunter to kite. So it, it, it can really be both, right? Like right now, Priestess was doing an absolutely fantastic job. Oh, Doctor is saying stay put, I'm coming. I've got to take the middle cipher. Man, he's concentrating on there. No, Breeze is out. No, I didn't. Oh no! I, for some reason I thought Priestess could get on the chair again. I'm gonna take the Owl. If he's sending us an Owl, I'm gonna take it. Just as he needs to look at me, I need to look at him. Oh, I was able to look at him. Is that the special accessory? The claw, the, the claw that is looking like it's on fire? Oh, Doctor went down. I tried to leave as fast as I could to potentially have the dungeon ready for the Doctor. But Doctor just went down right there. Doctor was doing a really, really good uh, job late game. Just buying enough time for us to open up that exit gate. Let's go. Got a beautiful tie, I would say. I was... Oh, man. I was hoping that the... Priestess wasn't out of the game. That could have been such a game changer. I feel like we did really good. I just didn't... I don't know, I didn't expect the priestess to be already out. Mercenary is in the lead with the upcoming poll right here. So we are switching to the mercenary. I'm gonna play that skin again. No, you know what we're gonna change. We're gonna play Mr. Inference. I know not a lot of people have Mr. Inference. So we're gonna play as Mr. Inference right here. You know what, I'm gonna... We, we are not going to equip any pet. I want to just have him being the detective that he is. Mr. Inference, absolutely beautiful skin. The third anniversary box skin that you could only get with the third anniversary box. And the special accessory I also bring. So we have some special cypher machines right here. And in the meantime, while we are searching for a match, I'm going to put on the next poll. We are going to play either Prisoner... Painter, Doctor, or Novelist. Since we are currently playing as Mercenary. Yeah, that's a new accessory from this season. From this season? Oh wait, I got that. Yes, it's from this season. I didn't know that. Let's go. <laughs> Nightmare is hiding from the survivor. Nightmare is really hard to get away. I think so too. It can be really hard, but I feel like in this match, my teammates, we were really uh, getting away from the hunter. Nightmare is scary with the gates though when he uses his birds. That's why I was running towards the nightmare for the rescue. 
Because I knew he would throw a bird towards the last cypher machine that we were decoding. So I was just taking that bird to avoid him from getting on our cypher machine. I almost forgot about Mike's new S tier. I'm excited for it, but I used my 13,000 fragments on the Red Riding Hood Lantern deal, so now I only have 3k. I Do we already know what the um, Acrobat's S tier skin will look like? I don't think so, right? That's gonna be interesting to see. I've been literally watching so much. This man has all the characters in the game and all the S tier skins and A tier skins in the game. Not all of them. I wish, I wish, I wish. I wish I had all of them, but no. I have all the characters, yes. I don't have all the character skins though. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. All right, let's get right into it. <laughs> the Acrobat, I'm thinking, I think my only good skin for the Acrobat, for example, is Pumping Tires, which was the Call of the Abyss 4 A tier skin. So maybe, uh, I don't know, if the Acrobat is getting a really, really cool skin, an S tier skin, is that skin going to be limited? I can't remember, I think it is, right? Maybe I should get myself an S tier skin for the Acrobat. Let's see, let's see. Alright, where are we? There we go. We're gonna touch the Cypher, we're gonna transform the Cypher. There we go, look at it. The Call of the Abyss 3 Cypher Machine. Chris not already took the first hit, okay, we gotta be careful right here. Oh, that's gonna be... It's a good spot to go down because now the hunter needs to walk across the entire building to bring him to a rocket chair, which is buying us a lot of time. But still, that is a good start for the hunter. Dancer is already there. Oh, Priestess is already there. Okay, 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 okay. She is handing out hits left and right very, very fast. Don't necessarily like it. I don't necessarily like it. And I think she is also concentrating on the... on the prisoner now instead of going for the priestess. That is scary. That is... it's just scary. Yeah, she's over there. She's gonna... Oh, man. She might even have enough time to... Oh, no. Priestess will be healed. That's fine. Oh, no way. The mirror. That is scary. Nothing we could do. Can you breathe a little bit? Thank you.
How did she drop down there? Oops. That mirror image was scary. It was just circling around right there. She's not going for me. Give me a flare gun. No. This is not the flare gun I was talking about. This is not the flare gun I meant. Okay, <laughs> that was not the plan. The priestess went through and she took the hit. She sacrificed herself for me and she teleported to me. And priestess can't heal up. Priestess can't heal up. Good match. Good match for the good match for the bloody queen. That was fun. Oh, that was very, very fun. <laughs> a lot of chaos, a lot of chaos. Let me see, the Paul seems to be a prisoner, almost a doctor. Gonna dismiss the team right here. We're gonna add three new people as always. 148424. One player's already in. Two players already in. One more spot to have the three players. Who's fast? There we go. Those were some crazy good matches. Really, really enjoyed it. Man, entering portals is scary sometimes. It definitely is. Man, Priestess was just coming through for the rescue. And I was deciding her fate. I was deciding the fate of our entire team by accepting that portal right there. I was Priestess, I didn't know she would be there. I, I, it was kind of a tough spot. It was kind of a tough situation for me. Oh. 
What if Compose's S tier skin is the ugliest thing? Um, I don't think so. I feel like we have never been really let down with a limited S tier skin for a character. Like all the S tier skins, the limited S tier skins that are first introduced for each character, we have never really been let down by uh, by Net East by Net by Identity Five with that. All right, we're gonna wait until we found the match. And then we're gonna wait until the countdown hits 30 seconds until we switch to the character. Because right now it's Prisoner or Doctor. 31% for both. 30% for the Doctor. It's slowly going down. Prisoner is currently in the lead with 1% more. But Doctor is definitely right there. Let's see who we are playing. Prisoner is going down to 32, but Doctor is going down to 21. It was a battle between Prisoner and Doctor, but it might actually have someone else come through as well. Alpha says, that's my second account, y'all. No way I'm playing now. See, I, I explained to you how to get into my friend list, how to get into my matches, and here you are. Jumping right into that match. Oh, Prisoner is taking a lead now. Prisoner is taking a lead. Senpai Cut says, I have to go now, Christy. Thanks for the stream. Hope everyone has fun. Thank you so much for stopping by, as always. I hope you have a great rest of your day. SMA waiting time is almost three minutes. That is unusual. Usually we see a shorter waiting time. Oh, we have a PC player, right? Yes, PC emulator. Oh, never mind. I take it. Identity 5, we are taking it. So now we're gonna wait until the timer right there at 45 right now is hitting 30 and then... Oh, it's gonna be Prisoner. Prisoner is way more... Yeah, Prisoner is in the lead. We're gonna play Prisoner. Wait, I read it up. Whoops. Almost did not change. But we are going to play... Not Patient. It starts with a P. Prisoner, Patient. Can be confusing. There we go. So now that we are playing the prisoner, we have mercenary, we have painter, we have doctor, and we have doctor, and we have novelist on the field again. There we go. Prisoner it is! I'm actually excited. Again, playing all these characters, it's a lot of fun. Thank you all so much again for coming through with the donations earlier, letting me play, for example, the thief. The thief was just hilarious. Weeping Clown just as well. That was absolutely fantastic. With the Wildling, I wasn't doing as good. But just playing these random characters is always a lot of fun. Okay, where are we at? Nice, someone is on the middle scythe. I kind of want to, as a prisoner, I always try to get rid of the middle cipher machine. Because the middle cipher machine can be... Stop it. Can be a little bit more difficult late game. It's a little bit laggy. Ah, the Doctor is actually such a good character against the Hermit. It is a little bit laggy, what is happening? It's actually such a good character against the Hermit, but... At the same time, if the Doctor is the survivor that is getting the first kite, it can be a little bit difficult. No need to be sorry, not at all. I am okay. I need to pay attention to the, to the calibrations. Hello there.
Okay, mercenary is going for the rescue. It was a double stun. Man, that is so scary with the hermit. Oops, I took damage too. With the hermit getting the double stun and not being able to rescue, it's so much pain on the survivor side. It's literally the worst pain if you're trying to rescue and you just see your teammate get sent back to the moon because you're just standing there. You can't do anything. That's brutal, man. I'm sorry. Prospector is zooming. I forgot I had the same. I forgot I had the same um, charge as the prospector. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We can save here. We might actually be able to get up without self healing. At least we got a clean rescue for the prospector over there. This is just a back and forth. This is a back and forth. Like, he is doing really, really good. We, we can't really decode cypher machines because we are getting pushed away from the cypher machines. We have to go back and forth to rescue. As you can see right here, he's already going for the next survivor. Don't really get the chance to finish any more cypher machines. It's a good, it's a good hermit player. <laughs> oh, my stun is ready. That's a new ability for the prisoner. That the stun automatically recharges after 60 seconds. <laughs> he's aggressive! He's angry! Oh, he's mad! Someone made him mad! Wasn't me! Wasn't me who made him mad, but someone made him mad, that is for sure. I'm out of the game. With this rocket chair, I am out. Oh, that was a good blink. As I said, he's putting a lot of pressure on us. He's doing good. He's a good hermit player. Definitely a good hermit player. Let's see how the rest of the team is doing. We still need way too much cypher machine progress. It's going to be very difficult. Oh, he just vanished right there. Just like the mercenary vanishing out of sight. 
Is he having any elbows left? Elbow pads left? That is scary. That is scary. Wow, 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 wow. You gotta run, you gotta run, you gotta run. Oh, man. Yeah, you can't avoid them. It's just tough. Prospect on the ground could potentially heal up again, but... That is painful, that is painful. Is he healing? No, he's actually crawling. Oh, he's on the dungeon! Will he be able to escape through the dungeon? He's hiding. He knows... Ah, uh, Is he hiding? He is hiding. Oh, the hunter is coming! Oh, the hunter is coming! <laughs> no! <laughs> that was really good. That was... I... Oh, man. Prospector almost got the dungeon. But sadly, Mercenary was sitting on the chair for too long. Keeping the dungeon shut. <laughs> Not bad. Look at this man. Look at this man standing there with his skill. <sighs> Alva is ruthless. He really is. He really is. Oh, someone left immediately. You don't have to leave. I'm gonna invite you again for another match. I always play two matches with my teammates. Even if we lose the first match. Can my team is in deduction? Okay, we're gonna add someone else. First one who gets onto the list right here. First one who gets onto the list. We are playing as Doctor. It definitely seems like we are playing as Doctor in our next match. Ah, uh, three, two, one. We're gonna give you guys five more seconds, and else I'm gonna try to invite the person that was leaving. Five. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Okay, that was just a moment. There we go. All right, all right, all right. The doctor is going to be our next character. <laughs> Gonna switch right here. Where do we have the doctor? There she is. <laughs> Gonna play as Firefly. 35 seconds. You see how much the estimated waiting time changes when you're switching from emulator players to... Only mobile? It's crazy. <sighs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Look at all these. For some reason, the skins, at least the skin for the Acrobat and the Prospector, they really match. The better almost matches as well, me as... Oh, I mean, if I would pick the... No, we had the... Um, Blossom of the Rebirth, Blossom of Rebirth, I think. Skin earlier. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the skin. Blossom of, Blossom of Rebirth would definitely look more fitting to the entire skin theme, though. A little bit more dark, a little bit more red tones. Wait, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. This one really... Oh, everyone is changing though. Everyone is changing. All right, I'm, I'm gonna stay with the Firefly. Blossom of Rebirth is the skin called, yeah. Even though we have a lower estimated waiting time, we are still waiting for almost two minutes. Come on, game. Find us a match. Wait, what pets do we have that, is, that are blue? Do we have a pet that is blue? Oh, yes. I mean the firefly, the butterfly. 
I have this one right here. The oh. Nah, it's not that blue. It doesn't really fit. Ah, <laughs> yes, let's go. It's kind of cute. It's a different blue. It's not as bright, I guess. But I take it. Took us a little bit of time to find the match right here, but we take it, we take it, we take it. Sacred Heart Hospital, of course. Of course, we are playing the doctor for Akiko right here. We are playing the doctor on the Sacred Heart Hospital map. It only makes sense. It only makes sense. Look at the blue little butterfly. The butterfly will match your accessory. Oh man, should I pick the butterfly? Okay, I'm picking the butterfly. I know that the butterfly is... Oh wait, that's the skin. I know that the butterfly is most likely the most fitting... Accessory... Uh, not accessory, but pet. I'm gonna take the butterfly. I'm gonna have two butterflies in the team. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. The hunter is not ready. We are waiting. I'm ready whenever the hunter is ready. In a moment. The blue man group right here. I mean, not everyone is wearing blue. But that would actually be funny. Alright, okay, we are getting comfortable. We are playing as Doctor on the Sacred Heart. It's basically a... A match in the Doctor's home turf, right? The hospital map couldn't be any better for the Doctor. Let's go. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Kind of excited for this match. I I have a good feeling about this match. I don't know why, I can't tell you why, but I, yeah. Not so great anymore. Oh boy, please rescue me. <laughs> nice! He is good with his chumps. I was having a good feeling about this match. And what is happening? I'm getting a terror shock like that. Are you kidding me? Putting my team in such a tough situation too. I am so sorry. And he is landing his hits. Nice.
This even reptilian? I don't know. I feel like I am very bad against evil reptilians. <laughs> the cowboy! Let's go! Nice! A better almost rescued me too. I cannot, I can, I, I was having a good feeling about this match. Remember that was the first thing I said. The good feeling that I had was, I feel like the hunter really wants me. Just wants me to get out of the game. Oh no. And there we go. And there we go. I was healing up. And then vaulting the pallet to take the terror shock. Cowboy did an absolutely fantastic job, I have to say. Cowboy was very, very strong. But the evil reptilian? I, I feel like the evil reptilian was very aggressive too. The chump, always beware the chump. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I, I mean, I can clearly tell. And I have to say that my teammates are better at avoiding these chumps. But you also have to give it to the hunter. He was doing good. And he is wearing a scary skin. I like that skin. <laughs> nice. Prospector is taking that for the team. I was trying to pay attention to the jump. But it was very, very difficult. Like sometimes at the pellets, I knew I, I knew he would jump, but I just didn't know what else to do. Oh dang! You were able to see him on the horizon. I think the cowboy was expecting a jump too. Wow! 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 Is the cowboy out of the game? I don't think so. No. But the prospector would have to move in quickly to get the cowboy off the chair. They are both running in. Let's see, let's see, let's see. That's gonna be an insane... Alright, okay, okay. I was just about to say it's gonna be an insane rescue. That was crazy. <laughs> he was taking the jump damage right there. But overall, the rescue was just crazy. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Where are you going? Not gonna make it, are you? Ah, man. Oh, better. <laughs> this team right here, this team right here is on point. They are doing fantastic. The hunter is doing really good too. But that is crazy. They know what they are doing. I like it. Even though we are still at two cypher machines, this was such a fantastic match. And even though I couldn't do anything, my team was carrying hard. 
Look at that music. Is that the new the, is that the new survivor, the composer? This is it gotta be. It gotta be the new survivor, the composer right here with all that music around him. <laughs> is he having oh I was just about to say, is he having these music notes all of the time? Because that would be very, very obvious for the hunter to see. Are we seeing the dungeon in the distance? Oh yes, the dungeon is right there. It's not gonna change the outcome, even if he gets a hit. He was healed up. A B tier evil reptilian. Yeah, he was definitely, he was definitely good. You can't say anything else. Nah, you can't say anything else. He was a really, really good hunter. You have to admit that. That's just, look at all of us. Ooh, what an, what an exhausting match right here. <laughs> oh. from what the stream overall was. We got some matches that were extremely tough for us, but overall, we got a lot of victories. We had a lot of fun. Very, very exciting. Very, very um, entertaining matches too. Even when we lost, it was just an absolutely fantastic stream today. Really, really enjoyed playing with you guys from the chat. Thank you so much for playing with me again. Thank you so much for letting me play um, Survivors Like the Thief, like the Wild Thing, like the Weeping Clown, and also for picking the characters from the upcoming Bungo Stray Dogs crossover event. We really enjoyed playing these characters. As I said before, I know, I know, I know, I'm playing a lot of um, Perfumer, but I really enjoy playing these other characters as well. I hope you guys had a fantastic day here on the stream with me. Thank you again for playing with me. Let me see who's in the chat. We have Lucia, who was a hunter in the stream. Thank you so much for playing against us. Wife of a Trucker is here, we have Sparkles, we have Luca, we have Isa, we have Chotoki, we have Owltree, we have Will Byers, um, we have Ganji, we have uh, the Mess Cat Gummy, we have Ragu in the chat. Thank you so much for being here with me today in the stream. Thank you all for coming through. If you haven't already, make sure to leave a fat like. I would really, really appreciate that. Instant Brown is in the chat. We have um, Shiksan right here. Bye, Chrissy. Today was fun. It definitely was a lot of fun. I have to agree. Isa says, bye, y'all. We have Sand Crim in the chat. Um, again, thank you all so much for being here with me today. I had a lot of fun. I'm very, very happy that you enjoyed the stream too. On your way out, make sure to leave a bad like and that's it for today. I hope to see you all in the next live stream or the next video. I'm heading out and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye!